Okay, so here's this normal distribution curve that we talked about. And the mean is right in the middle. These are the Z scores. One means that you're one standard deviation above the mean. Two, you're two standard deviations above the mean, and obviously the negative means you're below the average. These numbers are always the same. So we always use the rule 68% of the data is between negative one and one. I just use 68, 95, and 99.7. Here's a more accurate percents, but so 68% of the data is between one standard deviation below and one standard deviation above. Okay, so here is the Z score formula. So we have X representing your score your data, whatever data it is. This U symbol is the mean. And then you're like, well, last time we used an X with a bar over it. There's two symbols. One means the population and one means in a sample. So I think when I, I got to print you a formula sheet, I think I put it on something nice for you. I got to print that though. And the U with the hook is the standard deviation. Oh, I guess it just told me that right below there. Okay, here we go. IQ scores. If you take an IQ test, the average IQ test score is 100, and the standard deviation is 15. So I'm going to put 100 here to show you 100's right in the middle. Where would you be if you scored 127? So th let's just, we don't have to do this every time, but I want you to mark down, this is 115. This would be 130. And this would be 145, right? So where would I be if I scored a 127? I'd be right there-ish, right? Find the percent of the people that are below me. Zach, did I give you a paper paper? Okay. I think, I think I need you to look at the paper. I think that they might be different. Okay, we need to get the Z score here. Anybody have a prediction about what the Z score might be? What's a good guess, an educated guess? Almost two. So like 1.8 or something like that, right? Okay, so let's go Z equals my score, so 127, subtract the mean over the standard. Oh, I did a good guess. The Z score is 1.8, exactly 1.8. Okay, now what do we do? So we go to this chart that I gave you, and we have to find the Z score of 1.8. Point eight. So here I'm going to go down 1.80. Is already following it? I got 0 0.4641 on my chart. One point eight zero. Are you like on that line? Yeah. What? What do you mean it's different? Oh, okay. Are you?
0.4641. Okay, what does that mean in the chart? 0.4641 means that between you, your Z score, and the middle, there's 46.4% of the data is between you and the middle. Okay, so this, this section right here, that's how much data is in between that. That's what it's telling me on the chart. Now, I want to know what's below me, so I'm still going to put this below me. How much of the data would be from here below? 50% of the data. So how much total data is below me? 0.9641. So 96.4% of the people are below me. I'm pretty good, right? On an IQ test, if that's how many people are below me, I'm, I'm above that many people. So those people that had that other chart, that just was your number, right? Yeah, and that's why that chart had the below, and this chart has to the middle. Because the point zero zero is how many hundredths of places I went to. So that's the zero part of it. If you want to look here you would be looking at a z-score of 1.81. Yeah. This would be one. So like right here would be the z-score of 1.83. Okay, so just hun uh, hundreds of places. Okay, so let's try another one. What percent of the data falls between a Z score, or sorry, a score of 90 and 110? So 100 is right in the middle. I'm going to put a 90 below it and 110 above it. And then I want to know what percent is in that. Okay, so let's find the Z-scores. So the Z-score equals 110 minus 100 over 15. So I'm getting a 0.67. I'm also going to find the Z-score of 90. And I get 0.67, right? Does that make sense to you? Because you're below the average, you have a negative z-score? Okay, so this chart, you're going to look up 0.67. So I'm going to go to this line that says 0.6. And then I have to go all the way across to the 7. So 0 0.67. Did you find a 2486? 0 0.2486. So what does that tell me? Tells me that there's 24.86% of the data in between me and the average. <clears throat> Do you understand that that would be the same on the negative side? So what is your final answer? How much percent of the data is in that zone? So now you have to double that. <clears throat> so 49.72% of the data falls in between.
Okay, what percent of people get above 140? Because you're a genius. If you get 140 or more <clears throat> above it, you're a genius. So, 140 <clears throat> would be way over there, right? What percent of the people get above it? You're a genius if you're over it. So how much percent of the population is in that zone? Okay, so Z equals 140 minus 100 over 15. So 2.67 is the Z score right there. And I predicted a big Z score, right? Because I'm way over there. Okay, so how do you find that on the chart? Go 2.6, 2.6, and then right to the 7, so 2.67. Are you at 0 0.4962? 4962. So what does 0.4962 mean? That's the percent between me and the middle. So how do I find this question mark? What would I do to get that? If this, if I know this, how do I get the leftover there? Subtract the total of that. Subtract. We're going to subtract. I can just use this half, though. What would I do then if I just wanted to use this half? What is this whole half? 0.5. So 0.5 minus leaves me with that little piece. Does that make sense to you? 50% is over the half, and if there's that much in between, So that is 0.38% of the population, so a very small part of the population. All right, let's try one more of that. Okay, this time I just gave you Z scores. So again, here's your middle. We want the probability between the z-score of 1.2 and the z-score of 2.4. And I want what's in between them. Okay, so give me the chart number with a 2.4. 2.40. Two point four. Are you getting forty nine eighteen? That one. So what does that mean? It means from here to the middle. So that is forty nine percent. Forty nine point eighteen percent. Now can you look up a one point two? So 1.20 is 0.3849. And what do you want to do with those numbers? Add them or subtract them or use a 50%? What would make sense? If I take this full distance minus that distance, I'm going to get that. So subtract them. So 
10.69% of the population is between. Okay, how do you work backwards? We're going to work backwards here. So, if I want to know what uh, score is corresponding to the top 28%, So this time, this time I'm telling you to percent and getting the Z score. Okay, so how do I work backwards? You ready? I'm going to get my chart. Out of all of these numbers here, you got to go through all this chart, which one is closest to, oh wait, not 0.28, I don't want 0.28. What do I want? I want that. What is that? If 28 is over you, what's between the middle? 0.22. So I'm looking for a 0.22, as close to it as I can get. I'm thinking this one right here. 0 0.2190 is the closest I can get. So what's the Z score? Can you read the Z score backwards? 0 0.58. Okay, so the same idea here, I want, it says the bottom 10% and the top 10%. I want to know the Z scores related to that. Okay, don't look up point 10. Think about what's the middle to the middle percent. It's always, this chart goes always to the middle. So I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up a 0 0.40. I'm trying to find the best 0 0.40 I can. So something that's close to 0 0.40. I think this 0.3997 is my closest. 0 0.397. 0 0.3997. Okay, we got 1.28 is the Z score there, right? Can you read how, how that goes? 1.28. So this Z score is 1.28. And this Z score would be negative 1.28 then. <clears throat> okay. We're going to add all that last step together. Okay. Find the score that corresponds to the top 5% of our IQ tests. <clears throat> okay, so we want to be there. What is the top 5%? So there's actually going to be... 45% of the data between me and the middle. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look I'm going to look up a 0.45 as close to 0.45 as I can get. <clears throat> okay. Here is what I'm finding. I'm finding these two. They're both the same closeness, right? Can we just go right smack dab in the middle of them? What would you pick as a Z score? 1.645. I'm just going to go right in the middle of the 1.64 and the 1.65. 
But so I'm not done. I'm going to add one more layer. What did I get on the IQ test? So I'm going to use the Z score formula. Z equals my score minus the mean over the standard. Z equals my score minus the mean over the standard. Can you times by 15 and add 100 to that? Times by 15 and add 100. Your IQ equals 120. I think IQ scores will just go to whole numbers. I don't know how they get measured. Okay, the last question of the day, find the score that represents the top 70%. So this is kind of awkward, but the top 70%, I don't know why it's not the bottom 30, but so this is where I am. So what would you say is between me and the middle line then? Point 0.2, because this is the 50, so 70 minus 50. So I got to do a chart lookup. I'm trying to find a point 0.2, as close to point 0.2 as I can. I think I'm going to do a middle value again, because point 0.2 is almost in the middle of those. So I'm going to go 0 0.525, 0 0.52, it's right between a 0 0.52 and a 0 0.53. But wait, there's something that's missing. What's the missing thing? This is not the Z score. It's negative. This chart only does positive, and then if it's negative, you just have to make sure you look, because look at where I am. Right? I'm below the average, so I have to be a negative. So now, Z equals my score minus mean over standard. Okay, so that would be something that'd be easy to forget because you're looking on this chart and everything's positive on the chart. So it's kind of like when we did trig. Make sure you understand negative as a location. So times by 15, add 100. And let's just pretend you forgot. You should realize your IQ Whatever you are has to be below 100, right? You have to be below the average if you are here. Wait, I didn't come out below the average. Did I do that wrong? Negative. Oh, I bet you I didn't even do the negative in my calculator. 92. That's why I'm saying check if you had that made that error. If you had made that error, then that's what you would have got. Are you below the average? No. 92. Does that sound better? 